next tutorial of how to make a robot which cleans the floor of your room so uh, I guess you have already watched a glimpses or a bit of how my robot looks like so this I have just removed the open I mean removed the top lid of my robo so that you know I have access to everything now so I designed it such a way that if I want to make some up upgradations I can easily make it so now as you can see uh, we have an IA sensor module which is used as an object sensor and that is in turn connected to my uh, big controller and this plastic container is nothing but what will have have my cleansing agent filled in. So and as you can see you the white cylindrical kind of object what is placed here is nothing but a DC motor pump motor so that will be pumping my cleansing agent to the floor in particular intervals of time and I have a tube connected which is going below which will be going below the or underneath the robot to you know pump the cleansing agent to the floor and then I have two DC motor wheels connected the yellow color are two DC motors and I have wheels connected to them and then I have a relay module which is used to uh, you know control the working of the pump motor and just next to that I have a l 293 d motor driver which is basically controlling my wheels and it is actually there inside this complex circuit I would say and then I have my uh, big controller and the board ready so now I have three battery or I would say three power supplies here this is basically for my for the working of my big controller and the board and the next one the middle one is for the working of the pump motor and the battery set here is for the working of the two wheels and for the l 293 d so and I have connected two switches here now this one is to switch on the big controller and this switch is to switch on the motors so now uh, next I would explain the working of the you know the robot with the help of a block diagram because explaining this circuit would be a bit confusing and because even though the logic is very simple the circuit may you know seem to be a complex one so I will give uh, the details of my circuit diagram in my blog but uh, let's look into the block diagram of the robot first now uh, this is a block diagram of my uh, flow cleaning robot so here I'll just explain what all I have used so my uh, big controller is connected to a l 293 d motor driver uh, which is on the right side of the block I mean left side of the block diagram and uh, that l 293 d driver is in turn connected to two uh, DC motors so these two DC motors acts as my wheels so the forward direction the backward the turning and everything is controlled via this l 293 d driver so now how to control uh, DC motors through or by using l 293 d driver I already have uploaded a couple of uh, tutorials the link will just pop up now on top of the screen so uh, if you're not aware of how to use it i would request you to go back and watch the video and then only then you will get a clear idea about how i actually have done this similarly i have another dc motor which is nothing but a pump motor i am which is on the right side of the block diagram i am using this motor to pump the cleansing agent to the floor uh, from the tank in which i have stored it so now this motor is controlled by using a single channel relay it's a 5 volt relay module I have which I have used so I have a tutorial for that also already uploaded in my channel so I would request to go back and watch it if you are not aware of how to control a DC motor using a single channel relay 
So now uh, with my peak controller I am controlling the pump motor on a particular interval of time to pump the motor and then so every time it will be pumping the motor I mean basically pumping the cleansing agent to the floor and then I have an IR sensor module to detect the ob obstacles in front of the you know the robot so I have a tutorial for the working of the IR sensor module also uh, and uh, now, so whenever I have an object detected, that will be considered as a, uh, or when the, when the IR sensor module has an output high, it is considered as an obstacle and I will stop my robot and turn around and then I continue my forward direction. So uh, this is just an overview of how I have done it. Uh, the detailed circuit diagram and the code will be available in my blog. So the link to the blog is already available in the description section of the video. So you can go there and you will get the complete complete code and also the circuit diagram which I have used. So now I'll just show you how my flow cleaning robot, the RoboMofer is working and how effective it is.